What's up guys? Just doing a quick check on a unit. Had to come out and replace the thermostat. The thermostat calibration was out of kind of out of range. One of the 824 train thermostats. You have a little issue with calibration in those and sometimes the range doesn't doesn't allow for the max calibration on it. This thing's like seven degrees off and it allows you plus or minus five, but um, Anyway, we ended up actually putting in a Honeywell T6 Lyric. The homeowner wanted the T6 instead, so that's what I just got through installing. I figured while I was here, we'd do just a quick check on it. I'm running it, checking the pressures, and let it run a little bit. I'm going to go check my wiring, make sure all my lockouts are set for my outdoor temperature switch, things like that. But I just noticed something while I was looking at this system. This is another quality control issue. How it comes out of the box. And uh, obviously right here is what I'm talking about on these units. We put in these outdoor temperature switches. Got this one set to just a hair below 40 degrees. It allows us to break the auxiliary heat circuit from the thermostat, run it through this switch back into the air handler it gets below 38 degrees 40 whatever we have it set to this switch will close let that circuit continue to the inside of the air handler and cut on the auxiliary heat it's just a mechanical way to do the lockout uh, if you're not going to do an outdoor temperature sensor and the train 824 thermostats have had an issue maybe they fixed it by now I don't know but they had an issue for a while where the thermostats if you hooked it up to an outdoor sensor, now this is probably 2014, 15, 16, back in that back in that day. I remember we had a lot of issues. The thermostat would heat. It would cause inaccurate temperature readings. So we started using the mechanical stats. Maybe train has fixed that. I know I did put an 824 thermostat on a house about three months ago. They had a wired outdoor temperature sensor, and that one seems to be working fine. So whatever that glitch was, Maybe they fixed it, I don't know. But uh, in this particular case, we're just using the mechanical switch. But something I noticed, if you look right here, look at the way they have zip tied the sensing bulb in that tight angle going back. Then they bring it back over here and then made another basically way more than a 90 degree angle and then ran it down to where the bulb attaches I mean that's absolutely ridiculous because all you're doing now is I'm wondering I'm going to check this one hopefully it's not cramped and bent in half the pressure seemed to look good but all they're doing by doing that and letting it get out the door is creating a situation where you're going to have a sensing bulb for a TXV up here it's going to pinch in half that bulb is not going to work properly it's going to break or it's just going to crimp i mean this is quality control stuff right here from the plant this isn't this comes out of the box like this so i mean train really needs to do a better job in my opinion checking their stuff before it goes out the door i mean that's just an obvious no wouldn't be doing that so since i'm seeing that i'm going to run in and check the air handler real quick make sure we're not having any problems in there but i mean that's just that's just poor quality control to do something like that that thing's almost bent completely in a 180 degree angle i mean that, that's ridiculous for a product like train to let something like this go out the door Alright, what I'm doing here real quick is just making sure that I've got amp draws on my heat strips real quick when we go into the defrost cycle. And as you can see, we have heat strips on the auxiliary heating. When it's in defrost cycle, just wanted to double check that and make sure it was working. Um, 
both relays are engaged at this point the other one just clicked as you can see right there it tells you that we were in defrost cycle and now we've switched back to heat defrost is terminated back in heat mode that supply temperature is going to start going back up I want to double check my settings make sure everything is set up properly for the system sometimes there we go so we're going to go over here to configuration and scroll down I'm not going to restore defaults CFM so outdoor unit type is a heat pump it is a three-ton system set up for single stage compressor you got to be careful about this one I'm gonna put a short out I went to one and we didn't have the staging set up right it was actually a two-stage system it was still set in one stage um, so you've got to set this air handler up based on you're using one compressor one stage one compressor two stage or two stages two compressors so you always want to double check that when cooling CFM is set we're in CLPR4 that's going to be our enhanced airflow schedule so what will happen is this thing will come on that blower will run about a minute and a half two minutes at 50% speed to maximize dehumidification and cooling then it'll run the next seven and a half at 80% to do a balance of dehumidification and cooling and then if it's still running at that point real hot day it'll go ahead after about eight eight minutes or so and ramp up to a hundred percent start getting the house cooled down and then cycle off heating has the same profile and our electric heat we're set up 8kw heat strips so that's good you got to make sure you do that and then you have to wire in you're going to have a w1 a w2 and a w3 wire on these air handlers based on how many stages you're running and if you only have one relay over here on your heat strips then you only need to tie in w1 if you have two you tie in w1 and w2 if you have three relays you're going to tie in one two and three so if you come over here and you leave this thing in park and then you come up here and you tie in W1 and W2 for two relays and you didn't go set this thing up so that it knows what type of or how many relays or what size heat strips are in the system it'll show a configuration error in your heat it won't stop the system from running but it'll show a it'll show an error right there so you got to go in and make sure that you've set this thing up for what you've installed and to operate the way you intend it to operate and then airflow configuration menu and there's a monitor menu on this thing I can come back and monitor the system the PEV in this is going to be 500 steps because it's going to be wide open we're in heat mode so the outdoor TXV obviously is regulating the refrigerant flow and heating cooling is going to be wide open for full flow yeah, if we were running air conditioning this would tell you what position the stepper motor for the EEV is is located in at the time based on the adjustments that it does um, tells me my coil temperature sensor it's going to give me my gas line sensor and then obviously that's going to be pretty hot because we're running the thing in heat right now but if we were running in cooling it would read those two temperatures my coil temperature my gas line temperature and then it would calculate superheat between those two points and then that's how that eev would operate in cooling mode it would step open step close adjust refrigerant flow try to maintain that superheat in this system uh, where it needs to be for efficient operation and then tells me what my static it, it kind of estimates the static on it i think the actual static if i'm not mistaken so when we check the static air pressure on this thing we got a 0.9 on the return and then a 0.23 over there so that's going to be closer to a 0.41, I think, um, 42, which is obviously within your 0.5 where you want to be at. But this thing kind of gives you a rough calculation of what your static pressure is. And then tells me my outdoor unit size, um, humidification. And there's different things you can go into these and set up. 
um, tells you how many relays you have, whether one's energized or not, system time, cycle time, and then obviously the TAM X or the TAM 10 air handler is going to be coming out pretty soon. So this TAM 9, I don't know, the TAM X, I've, I've got the class scheduled for that actually next month uh, for the train link and all that stuff at the local train uh, DSO, which is uh, here in Wake County. But anyway, that's a rough overview. This system is running fine. Everything's operating like it was. The biggest issue was the thermostat being swapped out and I, you saw the sensing bulb uh, capillary tube line off that TXV outside. I don't like them being bent bent like that. Uh, eventually we're going to get one. It's going to be shutting down, not working like it's supposed to. But that's a quality control issue that comes from these gentlemen right here. So like, subscribe, uh, comment but uh hey guys you gotta love it oh and by the way you gotta love the nice cross spaces when you get a chance to work in them because oh well some of them are nasty